So I bought the bottle of wine for my boss. It was Cranky Bastard Rosé. <laughs> for his wife, I got Fat Ass Blonde. And for his 20-something obnoxious daughter, I got Royal Bitch Zinfandel. so entertaining induce so much secondhand embarrassment. Well, before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Um, when I was in high school, I graduated in the early 70s, and uh, we had to take swim class. And if you didn't pass swim class, you didn't graduate. Swim class was usually 7.30 in the morning, and the first day of class, as you know, when you go to gym, they usually give you your uniform, you get your shirt, your shorts and everything. Here you go, the calls is in school. So I went up to the teacher. I said, teacher, where's my Speedo? You know, the Speedo bathing suit or whatever, the Bayside High School colors, whatever. He looked at me and said, Speedo, speed, no. This is a naked swimming class. Wait, that's real? He said, that's real. This is real. He said, <laughs> your birthday suit is your bathing suit. Wow. Uh, yes. Imagine being in a class of all, all these people. Everybody has different ways of maturing, you know, be having to do four skinny dipping among all your classmates. With girls or dudes? Just, just dudes. Just dudes. Oh, just guys. man. I thought, I thought this. <laughs> that was the most popular just, class out there. The, yeah. I'm shy, well, this just sounds like something that's going to get you brought up on charges. If Okay, my name is Bruce Lipsky. I am from uh, New York City originally, five boroughs, and now I live in Long Island, New York. And you're, um, in a, you're a comedian. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. The comedians always give me the best stuff, you know what I mean? It's either comedians okay, yes. or unemployed people. That now, what about unemployed there? comedians? Uh, right there. Well, the, you know, this is the pilot for Naked and Afraid. And believe me, I was naked and very afraid. <laughs> I told you yeah. that, you know, we used to play water polo in class. This is true. But, and but naked water polo? <laughs> yeah, that's, and, uh, that's a, that's a, I could not even imagine that being <laughs> like a thing. Even we play naked water polo in class. Yeah. <laughs> and the teacher would yell. And I, I was, this is crazy. Water would be jumping all around. I was hanging out in the corner of the pool. And the teacher would yell, hey, Bruce, hey, Lipsky, protect your nets. And I'd be going like this to hell with it. I'm trying to protect my nuts. And it was the type of thing where you, it's, it's survival out there. Uh, but yeah, it's, you become a good one-handed swimmer, I guess. And my wife, I got no sex life either. In my house, we put the mirror over the dog's bed. <laughs> Look, that's the, I can't believe, yeah. I, Uncomfortable and awkward moments. When I was researching, I didn't hear any of this. I feel like. You know, I, I feel think, like I feel like that was back in the day when you could throw a you know a child in a factory. You know, uh, there was uh, this, this is 1972. Population in those years had very little understanding of what was meant by child labor and child exploitation. Uh, the good thing about comedy is that you don't know my punchlines. Sometimes you've got to know who your crowd is. You know, for example, uh, you know, uh, just talking about things that mean something. You're not going to talk about tits and asses to these. Why not? Why? <laughs> because that to I, me is timeless. Uh, and every other every other word was shit, fuck, ass, or whatever. And and the rabbi at one point. Uh, so as an audience member, what offends you? I mean, are you are because it feels like you work pretty clean. Do you get a little offended when you see some people working like that, or what? Talk about getting old. You do a lot of talking about getting old, though. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a, that's uh, a very direct. <laughs> that's a very direct. So I'll compare myself to an old Buick. And I'll say some things like, you know, my rear end's making funny sound, my hose leaks, and my ball joints have all dried out. So it's kind of suggestive, but I'm not saying, I'm not saying fuck shit or anything like that. Um, but <laughs> do you ever just want to let it rip, though, and just be like, listen, guys. When you're 65, your dick leaks and your ass leaks and all kinds of all weird right. things happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is an old, old joke. I mean, I don't use it on stage because I didn't write it, first of all. That's an important thing with comedy. You want to write your own material. You don't want to be a hack, as they call it, steal somebody sure. else's material. 
And the old joke is, you know, I went to my doctor and he said, I want a, I want a, a blood, urine, and, and, a, and poop sample. So I said, sure, here's my underwear, doc. I'll tell you my trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. So my doctor, forgot where you are. What a doctor. You kidding me? Well, doctor, I called him up. I told him I had diarrhea. Put me on hold. <laughs> Listen, I heard when I when you're playing the senior set, senior, he just, <laughs> just reminded me of something that, I feel like I would have to talk about when you're in the senior centers, do you have to talk about relationships? Cause I would want to know who's dating and who's getting kinky uh-huh. and doing weird stuff when you're, who's, you know, nine. Who's not dating, but who's knocking on the door, you know? Well, who, and, uh, Cause here's the other thing is I've heard some of these uh, baby boomers will call them or, uh, you know, they're spreading STDs around. And that is that, is, yeah. it, you, heard, is it possible to do a joke about that and have it not come off? All right, folks. The words for tonight is leg. Spread the word. <laughs> right, Dr. Dr. Vinnie Boombach. You know my doctor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he told me last week in his office he got six cases of VD. I mean, he's all right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. Can you do, could you do that? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, it's funny you say that because my mother was in an assisted living facility for several years. And uh, they said they had nice amenities there. They had a pool table. They had a TV, TV room. They had the computer rooms. They had to lock down the computers because the guys were surfing on porno sites. So uh, they had a, they basically had to limit the computers there. Guys were going up there. Hey, where's where's Marvin? Hey, Marvin's upstairs for two hours, and he comes back smiling. Yeah. And well, here's here's the interesting thing: is my dad, God love him, he's passed away. But you know, he died at like seventy. He could never send an email, text message, or anything. However, I think if somebody would have told him. These little computer boxes we got in front of us, right. you can access any kind of porn you want. All of a sudden, he would he would have he would have been Steve Jobs. He would have he would have figured out how to get on right. sending emails, lovely. text messages. Lovely, he's tech savvy. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, he all of a sudden he becomes a computer engineer at Google. All right, just get the they always thought the guys were playing pool upstairs. They weren't playing pool. <laughs> you're, you're, you're jerking off to porn? Jason. What's wrong with... I want to fuck. Oh, my God. For the first time in 40 years, I'm single, and I want to fuck. Ugh. I want to fuck until my dick falls off. I want to fuck a horse, and I want to drink its blood. I'm going to throw... Yeah. Well, I mean, they looking, you know... They were looking for naked women. <laughs> but the they're not dead, right? Exactly. They were playing with their cute sticks, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jason, what's wrong with I want to fuck. Oh my. They're rubbing their tip of their cue stick. Yeah, again, the neat thing about comedy is you can play to all different crowds. And do you ever uh, want to let it rip? Sometimes you you know, it, it's sometimes you want to say something that may be inappropriate if you want to call Give it. Give me an example. I want to know I want to know the inappropriate Bruce. Uh-huh. I feel like you're clean, so I'm putting you on the spot. I am clean. I am clean. <laughs> you're yeah, super I am clean. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to make you grimy. Uh, grimy. Uh, um, Everybody want to sound grimy. Yeah, no. yeah, again, I don't really pick on any body per se, but uh, on, on body types. But you know, I I like the fact that I don't have routine like that. But sometimes I'll bring my wife in as frustration. Mm. Uh, that's what that's how some of my when I say frustrated it's not necessarily frustrated but I try and bring the human out it's like Rodney Dangerfield you know talking about you know no respect you know my wife my wife my son my, my she's a lousy cook too she can't cook at all I leave Donald Force in the kitchen the roaches hang themselves <laughs> no, everything about you says you have domestic spats on the front lawn Bruce uh, exactly <laughs> and it all just comes down to the fact that I like mine soft and she likes it hard like, I haven't heard that over the last 30 years, you know? So, again, you try and bring it in that way. What's next? Sour cream pillows? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I thought that was hysterical because in comedy, there's something called in- incongru- incongruity. And that basically means, you know, you're expecting something to be straight and suddenly it veers to the right. And I have a lot of respect for McDonald's and all these fast food places that try to... <laughs> you really have a lot of respect for McDonald's. It feels uh, like... <laughs> when, when I say respect, I say that they're a business and they work hard at their business and they're good at what they do. 
do I agree that I don't eat that food? It's just not my type of food. I'm not, yeah. I'm not here. I'm not a fast food here. Uh, but certainly people do enjoy that, obviously. Hence my son, every once in a while, my wife. Uh, but yeah, I, just, I thought it was funny. And I, I just, I talked about another story uh, where you had, where you live, do you have Kohl's, Kohl's department store? Uh, you know, it's, I'm, I'm originally from the East Coast and I am okay. very, fr- I've, I've been to one, yes. Okay, so you know Kohl's and thinking about Kohl's, when you buy something, you get Kohl's cash. Oh my God, Bruce, don't get me started on Kohl's cash. The last, I said to my friend, the one time I've been inside of a Kohl's, I looked at my buddy and he's like, I got a bunch of Kohl's cash. I got to go spend it. And I was like, uh-huh. all right. I was like, well, what's Kohl's cash? He's like, I don't know, but it makes my wife really fucking horny. <laughs> exactly. There you go. There you go. You can drop that. You, hey, look, you can, you can, you can drop that in a set if you want. Wow. Don't even put my name on it. I would be oh, stoked if I had to write myself in one of your sets. Pal. There you go. I give credit. Not that you I need my help. No, am I a hack and don't even know it? Yeah, yeah. You had a little different spin. I like man, that. I, I man, I thought I was going to crush it, but I didn't tell even my story. Did, That's my buddy did. telling me that. I can add to that. We can put a couple of Kohl's cash under the pillow. I got his present. For, two, for, the, for the Easter Bunny? For the Tooth Fairy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But not for the wife. Kohl's cash. Oh, boy. You know, that's hot stuff, you know? What's $4 in Kohl's cash get you from the wife? Ew! Get off of me! Ugh, as if! <laughs> then I realized that my parents are in the 90s, how they lived so long. They've ingested so much bacteria. You know? They're just immune and to everything. Doctor. Exactly. Exactly. COVID is scared of them. In fact, Dr. Fauci just wants to use their broccoli to use their broccoli souffle as, maybe as a weapon against COVID. First, did you just say COVID is scared of your grandparents? <laughs> uh, uh, my parents, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That should yeah. go in your set. Oh, yeah. I actually have it in there. I have some stuff like that in there. Uh, do, you ever, also, do you ever use the punchline, I'm so old, or so-and-so is so old, they have an autograph edition of the Bible? No, I never use that. Throw that in there. Uh, no, no. I feel like I could break up this interview and like edit it out and kind of go, all right, COVID is scared of my parents. Hemorrhoids. What was the one you just said? Hemorrhoids. I, I, I said I know if I'm using my hem, I'm using my Polaroids now. I, I now hemorrhoids I, and Polaroids. Right. right and have an autograph edition of the Bible. I feel like that that uh, we could put that in a four minute set and crush. Killer, it. killer set, killer set. I'm flattering exactly. myself. That's why I don't get up there and actually do it. That's why I just talk to people about it. Exactly, exactly. And I have um, I use other references. I have one reference. I say I've gone from Vitalis to Cialis. Now, if you if you're back in the fifties and sixties, I mean, I had no hair in my head, but back then you used to put Vitalis in your hair. Oh, like, oh, I didn't know that. Stuff. That one you that was generational. That I did not. That's what I say. Four hours idea. though, Bruce. You better look out. You get one of those four hour ones. Well, I heard Vitalis, they got to cut it open has, and bleed it out. But with Vitalis, your hair will stay up a lot longer. I don't know what that is though. The man who uses Vitalis liquid has neat, well groomed hair. He wants it that way. Because he knows it's a look that says a lot. Vitalis Liquid. And uh, um, I have a set that I use about COVID. And uh, there's nothing funny about COVID in the sense of the disease because I was really sick. <laughs> but I'll have to. I, <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> You're like, listen, there there's you nothing go. funny about COVID. I'm like, I don't know, Bruce. I feel like we're going to come up with a winner right here. I feel like something's going to happen right now. Magic. There you go. So I wrote a set about that and some stuff that was actually true. And again, the embellishment factor. For example, I'm sitting upstairs in my, I have a sitting room up there. I have a rocking chair and I have chills. And I had this blanket over me. And Bruce, like, come on. Know, That's and, and Come on. You just resigned yourself right there. And you're like, I'm an old guy. I'm going to my rocking chair. I'm getting my blanket. I'm just going to be sick. And I'm I, was, I, was, I was miserable, man. I was miserable. We have the dog. And my wife is out walking the dog. And I'm, I'm like rocking like this, like I'm praying almost. And the light is in the room. And my wife is coming through the driveway. She looks up. She sees me doing this. She texts me. She looked like Norman Bates' mother from Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that could go in your set. It is. It is. I said, thanks. Thanks, honey. But then add insult to injury. 
you know, you're sick for weeks and you haven't showered really. You feel, the only shower you really have is putting brute cologne on you. The beard, I had my beard, I wasn't shaving, my hair, not that I have much hair, but I look like Bozo. You sound like you sound like you were probably a mental patient for a little while, worried about if you're gonna die or not. Oh yeah, let me tell you, it was scary shit, let me tell you. So now I'm feeling sorry for myself. I look like shit in the mirror. And next thing I know, this mobile grooming van pulls into my driveway. On it, it says the rough life, R-U-F-F. My wife booked a grooming session for the dog at $150. And I said, I, said, I got the rough life, R-O-U-G-H right now. And she's got the, this dog is getting pampered. A blueberry facial, nose and pore, moisture, nose and pore moisturizer. A haircut and spa treatment. I said, what does he need this for? He's spending all day rubbing his face in crap and smelling other dogs' asses. That's his spa treatment. Bruce, this is garbage. Listen, we got to have a talk with your wife. She's not treating you right. She calls, uh, which I guess is part of your act. Right. She she's calls, I suppose she is an amazing woman. I'm really sure. Uh, I don't want to like, yeah. I'll tell you how be more amazing if she called you the grooming van when you're talking about how you're disheveled, you're in a blanket, that, in a rocking chair, that, and your hair is going that. out the side of your again, head. The Rodney style joke is like, you know, for $150, I should be getting the blueberry franchise because for 30 years she's been rubbing it in my face. You know? <laughs> I, I think I think I need a husband rescue, you know. And then that's part of my dog set, but it's also part of my COVID set. And then I had, there's something with COVID when you get the disease and you're trying to get rid of it, it's called shedding or shedding the disease. That's a real thing or we're joking? No it's real. It's a real thing. It's a real Bruce, thing. you know what's funny about this? It's like when you're joking, like I'm not always clear what's a joke and what's not, which is what's right. making me laugh the, the most that's, about that's, this. That's, like, that's a wait, funny you, thing. This actually happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, people tell me that, that some people think I'm a really good bullshitter, but at the same point, I'm not bullshitting. You know, it's, it's, it's a fine line over here. And uh, that is it's called shedding. You're shedding the dead cells and stuff. Well, I have this thing where my wife says, you know, shit, I spent $3,000 on a designer dog that's hypoallergenic and doesn't shed. And now I got a husband who's shedding. And I said, well, honey, I shed off the top of my head 40 years ago. You knew that. And that gets a good laugh, especially from the older crowd. Yeah. Uh, but again, these are the type of things you can try and bring into it. And I talk about my antibodies. I went to my doctor, and they had measured my antibodies, getting 7.1. It was the highest he's ever seen. I was like Superman, super antibodies. I was the sexiest man in New York City. I can go up to any woman and say 7.1. Not inches, but antibody. I was, like Ron, I was like the Ron Jeremy of antibodies. You know what you just totally reminded me of? I, this is going to whatever. Maybe it's funny. Maybe it's not. I went to a funeral. And there was a lot of old people there because, well, it's a funeral. And every single one of these old people were like talking about their vital signs. Like they were super stoked to have low cholesterol. <laughs> the one was super stoked that his <laughs> blood sugar wasn't skyrocketing. Oh, yeah. As I'm watching this, I'm like, man, is this what getting old is like? You just sit there and talk about your vital signs? Oh, uh, well, you talk about again. I have a lot of material that I, I can try and throw in different directions. And I talk about, again, thinking about getting old and I said, you know, uh, but I was actually, I mentioned the fact that I got retired out early. You know, I retired out at age 50 and my friends were really jealous. You know, they, they didn't have retired out at an early age. They said, well, it's going to be great. You're going to do a lot of traveling. And I said, yeah, I have been doing a lot of traveling. On Mondays, I'm going to the orthopedist. On Tuesday, I'm going to the a chiropractor. On Thursdays, I'm filling prescriptions at CVS. You know, that's my traveling. So, again, those type of jokes come out, too. Do you have – you have a son. Do you have dad jokes? Uh, I have a couple of things. A couple of things. I say, you know, uh, my, my – um, I remember when I caught my son, who's 13 years old, playing with a deck of cards with naked women on it. And I said, son, what kind of games do you play with this? And he said, lots of solitaire. <laughs> Give me another one. Give me another one. Yeah, These are my favorite. I did another interview where a kid actually went into, went online. And he was like, I'm just going to tell you dad jokes all the time. And I'm like, go for it. Give me oh, another one. Then I had the tag for this. And I said, well, now I realize. And I always thought the sounds coming from your room because you were playing with your Nintendo joystick. Uh, then somebody said, I don't know if Nintendo is a joystick or not, but you got the idea. Yeah. 
And then it, no, that's what's funny about it is that I know very little about video games, and I know those Nintendos don't come with a joystick. Well, some this Sony PlayStation has somebody has something has a joystick, like Atari. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, it's Atari joystick. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. And let's make the joke funny. If it's stupid me, yeah. no, not say, stupid you. Generational you. Yeah. And I nothing, have a routine. nothing about you. So stupid. I have a routine talking about the generations. I say, you know, I'm just going to give a very quick thing where, you know, everybody talks about the millennials and stuff. I have my own group. I call us the perennials. And I say, you know, you know, perennials, we, you know, we, we, we pop up one, we pop up, we only come once a year. You know, we always, I, but that's not the full joke, really. But yeah, the idea is I have a perennial joke uh, that's uh, <laughs> that up where i get it i get it let me ask you this speaking of generational let me ask you some pop culture stuff do you know who like cardi b is i know who she is yes but i don't know i couldn't name a song do you know what wap is uh no okay good good we'd Uh, be in trouble we'd be uh, in trouble i don't know what wap is uh yeah abdul Bob Dole? Yeah. The, the, the ex uh, vice president? Not pop, not pop culture. Just, just, making sure, just, making sure you're, just making sure you're listening with me. I am. I, I got good ears. I, I got good ears. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> well, look, I think we're done here. I think this was fun.